are here at the base of Crestone Peak. Crestone Needle as well, making our way in from West Cliff. And it has actually been a little bit of a stormy day and we knew that, but we are coming in so that we can do our camping and hit the peak tomorrow, which is supposed to be a much drier day. The four wheel drive road in takes off about three miles. So if you don't have a capable four wheel drive, I would stress that with clearance, I would recommend parking the two wheel drive and hiking the extra three miles. So I'm super excited about this. I have spent a little time up here, did the Ellingwood Arete, but today we hope to do the Traverse. Crestone Peak to Crestone Needle in that order. Really looking forward to this adventure. Weather forecasts look great. Scott Spencer with me here, so we are stoked for the big adventure. We are here at the South Colony Trailhead, four wheel drive trailhead that is. And we will definitely be practicing the ways of the mountaineer. Here's a close look. They show the ascent of three 14ers. They do not show the traverse. Let me stick a little map on there for you. I am super excited. This is going to be awesome. going to head on down to the lower lake. I believe that's going to be better camping and Spencer is blazing our trail. All right, we are moving right along. We uh, did a big stream crossing. We're about three miles up the upper closed road portion. We're starting to see some more campsites as well. So I think that's telling us we're pretty close to the lower South Colony Lake and the vistas are definitely opening up. The road honestly wasn't that intriguing. Now that we're above Timberline things are looking cooler. Crestone Needle, Cottonwood Lake. We're gonna go behind the needle and right over to Crestone Peak first. We are 
over broken hand pass heading down the other side i would say there's a little bit of class three in there and the rocks are kind of slippery there's just enough wet dirt around them to kind of make your shoes slick the cottonwood lake is down over my right shoulder so, and it looks beautiful definitely a neat scene right now and then we'll turn back up the red gully behind the lake and summit Crestone Peak. We're just a little ways above Cottonwood Lake and it looks like we're hitting the Red Gully real quick. I think it's just in that shaded region behind me and we'll be on our way to the first peak proper. Right across the way is Kit Carson Peak in Columbia Point. Spence is bringing up the rear. All right, we're going for the Summer Ridge. Epic notch. Mm -hmm. Woo! We have gotten to the top of the Crestone Peak. We're there about right now popping up to the summit. The summit register right there. Epic spires. All around. Wow, is this a good view. Really sweet. Jeez. Unbelievable. I think this way's the best. Epic summer poses with the Kit Carson background, always cool. And then way off to our right, we've got Humboldt Peak. And that is the way back out to West Cliff. You can see just over the left shoulder of Humboldt. Really cool feature with the sand. And then we got Blanca and Little Bear in the background. So Spencer and I just pulled off the Crestone Peak. Super sweet. We're looking at the Crestone Needle right across the way. Definitely looks like at least a couple parties up there and we are gonna run down that red gully, 
cut over and I'll hopefully get that traverse done today, assuming the, uh, the weather doesn't deteriorate. Hope to see you there. And scarily ominous dark figure in the distance at the Crestone Needle.